This is day one of the transformation of my Transporter T6.1 Volkswagen. These, that's Craig from EcoWagon, just making sure that the interior of my van is well looked after. And that's Jay rolling out the waxed paper, which is brilliant stuff. It doesn't harm the paint at all, of course. And it sticks to itself and sticks to the shiny paint very well. And it forms a, a great barrier between uh, you and your tools and your van's paintwork. They do this with all customers' vans. They're, um, unlike a lot of converters that don't go to this extra length, but um, I mean, it's got to pay you in the long run, hasn't it? I mean, you, no accidents means you haven't got to fix anything. Plus, it shows a great deal of respect for a brand spanking new Volkswagen Transporter. All the guys at uh, EcoWagon have the same work ethic of looking after your, the customer's goods as if it were their own or more so. And that's Craig, he's just um, taping off the inside of my van to stop all the swarf getting into any electrics or, or anything at all. So everything is contained within the van so it can be hoovered and disposed of later. Jay's just completing the top masking. And this will be before he starts marking out ready to to do the shape for the roof, which this is a, a very sensitive part indeed. As you can imagine, you only get one go at this hole. And again, it's a brand new van. Great attention to detail, double check, triple check, quadruple check. Just to get this hole absolutely perfect. Here's Jay creating some uh, holes or, uh, for some tabs. So the, the idea is you leave a little bit of metal. So you, you cut up to this little bit of metal with the jigsaw. So it stops the roof from falling in. So it gives you absolute control over the when and where you want your roof to be removed. So Jay's cutting up to the tabs now. There's Craig, ever watchful in the inside to make sure that uh, no funny business happens, looking after all the delicate parts just to say if anything drops in the way of the jigsaw. And that's the final tab cut. Eco Wagon. Uh, choose to do their roof removal and roof installation manually i.e. using people and you know, primitive things as you see there some couple of pieces of wood they find it's the safest and, and, and the most effective way of doing things not relying on suckers or hoists or anything like that they rely on their workforce to do it right and there's Craig enjoying jumping on the roof after getting his hair full of um, swarf and here's the crew I asked them to do this, they very obligingly jumped in the van, the open top bus. There they are, a happy bunch. And there's Jay just checking the measurements and uh, he was within half a millimetre accuracy, which is pretty damn good. Just putting the um, galvanised steel one piece uh, support frame in, drilling the holes ready for the rivets. Lots and lots and lots of rivets. And not only that, it's put in with the two-part polyurethane system. That's Jay putting on the black primer, which is for painted surfaces. and It's brilliant on bare metal edges and things. It um, totally stops any corrosion. Just applied with the little swabs. Here's Jay putting on the special PU. This is not a fast drying one. This is an overnight job. That's putting the frame in, carefully does it. And here we go with the rivets. I wouldn't want to do them by my hand, they're huge rivets. Obviously they've got a, a pneumatic tool to do it here. There it is. Makes a very satisfying pop when they go in. 
Craig filling the gaps up where the ridges are. And Jay tackling now, there's eight support brackets which go on the inside. I mean, this is belts and braces, this roof. I mean, uh, it's indestructible. It, it definitely makes the van stronger. And there we are, more rivets and more PU. Jay tidying the wires away. I must say with this SCA frame, there's very little room to, to tuck your, even the OEM wires back in. It's, uh, it's a little bit tight. So you have to be very careful with that, that you don't trap any wires between metalwork when you're riveting. Jay masking the thing with an inch of its life. Now they take the roof off again now to do the prep. Jay's using the black primer again, because that's, that's specialist for um, painted um, metal surfaces. Applying all over the place, lots, lots of it. This is the EPDM trim. I've opted for this instead of a PU uh, filling line because the EPDM does not fade. And Craig's putting on some very specialized um, primer there. It's clear and it's for um, fiberglass and or gel coats. There's Jay whacking loads of the sealer on, tons and tons of it. I mean, this thing ain't gonna ever come off. Again, no hoist shoes, just manpower. Using some ratchet straps to pull the bib down, or the spoiler, what do you want to call it? There's me checking things. Jay getting into the finer details now, filling up all the gaps and cracks. Trimming the PU. PU is hard. It's, it's silicone. It's easy to finish. This PU is um, it's a different ball game altogether. But uh, he's very well practiced his J, and he did a perfect, absolutely perfect job. Time to get the masking tape off before it skins over. This is day three. Yeah, Craig doing his little ratchet technique on those huge struts. There's one either side and two in the back. Give him a roof a bit of love there. Jay's making it all spotless before they fit the bed in. That's a sprung bed. It's slatted um, sprung slats. And that's putting some rib nuts in to hold the tie downs. Jay was cutting the uh, roof lining and that's me pondering all the huge amount of work I've got yet to do. If you liked all of that please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next vid. Bye for now.